My God, so I had to do it again. That's right. I had to go and have surgery again. Aorta bifemoral bypass surgery, part two. So before I may have mentioned this, I, I had uh, swelling. There was a challenge with that, and that went on for a while. And, uh, and then the swelling started to go down, but just then I started to lose uh, the ability to walk without pain. It got worse. MRIs, tests, blood work, clotting. Have to go back in. That was the only alternative, apparently. Once you go down this road of surgery, apparently it's never ending. And people had told me, they said, you know, you're not going to get away with this with just uh, one surgery. You, you're going to have to go back in at least once. At least once more. And sure enough, they were right. Didn't want them to be. Um, so I go back in to get this done again. And it was funny, too, because the first time I said, I never want to do this surgery again. I never want to do this. This is horrible. Your gut's being moved around. Cut. They replaced the tubing, you know, from below the heart down to the iliac, uh, through the iliacs, to the, bifemoral, the common femorals and the legs. And they had to redo it because it got all jacked up. I was never certain exactly what had gotten jacked up. It just got jacked up. He said he has to go back in. So I went back in. And I requested uh, uh, this anesthesiologist that I had last time, because he seemed like a cool dude. And I remember going in and out smoothly. And it's funny how you think about these things and you go, gosh, I really would like this guy again because um, I like the way that I went in and out and it'll all go well if I get him. Of course, he doesn't show up that day. He was scheduled to. He said, I get this other dude, this overweight dude, this heavy dude, this dude that thought he knew everything, constantly talking, in the middle of him talking. Um, I'm looking at uh, the IV that he has started, and he's got the medication going through it. And he's saying things like, uh, you're not going to remember anything that's going on right now. From here on, you won't be able to remember any of this conversation. And I'm going, you know, I think I am going to remember it. In fact, you're not even giving me anything because that thing is leaking all over the fucking place. And it was. It was leaking all over the bed and everything. And, and he's going, no, 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 it's, uh, it's just it, we had to get it started. I'm going, no, it's leaking. It's leaking down my arm and stuff. And he keeps pressing on it and trying to get it back in there. And it's not getting any better. And they start to wheel me away. <laughs> Saying goodbye to my girlfriend. My friends are going, well, I'm not numb. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> don't take me in. They're taking me into surgery. They bring me in there. I'm telling them and I'm telling the doctor, I'm saying, yo, this is, I'm awake. It's leaking. I start to nod off and go out. But I, of course, during the whole time, I, I, I'm waking up. I'm, I'm fading in and out. Now, they see my vitals. They know this is going on. But apparently, th this guy was such a jerk off. Anyway. It's a wonder I made it up a lot. It's all cut up again and all messed up. Recovery. Jello. Drugs. Drugs and jello. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You're in a hospital. <laughs> you should be eating the healthiest food ever. And what do they bring you? Jello. <laughs> anyway, I'd been working out since and hoping that things were going to remain okay. And uh, so far they have. Uh, and and I, every day I jog, every day I run, every day I uh, work out. I was going to do this video with my shirt off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guess so, guess so. Um, but uh, uh, I'm still a little apprehensive about this whole. Uh, now I, my my Adonis-like physique is uh, been destroyed. Now I'm closer to Frankenstein. This scarring uh, down here, down the sides. But check this out. 
so I, I have this texting relationship with uh, the surgeon at this point. So I'm always texting him at different times. Uh, uh, sometimes at like two in the morning. Yo, you up? <laughs> He's like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just wonder what you're doing. It's chilling. You got surgery tomorrow? Yeah. TTL. Anyway, so we talk back and forth. I sent him pictures of the swollen area here. Sometimes it include my joint or depending on what drugs I was on at the time, I'd take a picture and let him know the swollenness, what's going on. And, uh, and I accidentally sent, and it was an accident, I swear, I swear it was an accident. I was showing my buddy Dave. He, uh, he he's a total hey dude. You know he's he's, he's yo hey yo yo hey yo. <laughs> you don't want to be showing him pictures of your joint. But I sent him a picture of my joint. Accidentally, I was saying, hey, look at how swollen this is. And just as I sent it, I realized it had my joint in there too. And he was like, whoa, <laughs> what's this? Anyway, you know, it, you gotta understand it. You know, he's from back east, so uh, they're not that bright. Uh, in fact, I think they're just getting the internet back, back east right now, right? Uh, anyway, I'm just kidding about the whole back east and Dave being dumb. Uh, Dave's incredibly bright but he still didn't need a picture of my joint. Uh, so in speaking of which, my joint was all uh, black with a ring. It had been strangled yet again. And I asked the doctor about this. What happened in surgery that I wake up in this thing, it, a black ring around it. Um, and he always just says, uh, you would become engorged. And I was like thinking, well, what did you do? Did you rustle it to the ground? Did you string it up? I don't understand that. Anyway, this black bruise uh, around it. Um, anyway, it took a while to heal. If anyone wants to see a picture, I'll send you a picture. Anonymously, no. Um, seriously, if anyone wants to see this. This is incredible. It has healed uh, since then, but the straight, I never heard of this before. Um, black, black ring around um, from surgery. And you know, I'm all numb down on one side here still, and a little bit on the right side too. This is a side effect. He told me that this could happen. And I just thank God that the joint didn't get numb, right? That would suck. Uh, that's still working, but the, on either side is like numb skin, which is kind of annoying. Um, still blind in my left eye. Kind of sucks. You know when you're like in the supermarket or out and about and you come across somebody, and they got one eye going one way and one eye going the other. And you look at him, you're like, oh, Lord, oh, oh. You try not to look at both eyes. I'm that guy now. People look at me and go, whoa, where's that eye going? It's not that bad, but it does look like I'm looking off this way a little. And uh, uh, again, they're probably going to do some surgery to straighten this one out so it doesn't look like it's drifting. Because I can't see out of that eye, which sucks, by the way. In case you were wondering, does it suck? Missing an eye. Yes, it freaking sucks. Now, yes, I know people are blind all over. Things could be worse. It could be raining. But it just sucks. The shoulder is getting so sore. <laughs> I bump into so many things. And you don't have time to explain to people when you do really stupid things and bump into people because they see that you can see you're navigating. And then you just bump into shit that's on your lap for no reason. Um, I still drive better than most people. I just stay ahead of everyone. 
Anyway. But I was going to, um, I was going to do the video uh, earlier. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that things stabilized. We moved into a new house, uh, larger house, historic home. Uh, my girlfriend loves it. Uh, the cats seem to freaking love it. Um, and uh, it was built in the 30s, 39, I think, late 30s, anyway. It's before the Second World War, and uh, it's a lot high ceilings. I can no longer jump up and palm a ceiling. Uh, so it's got high ceilings, lots of room, large, large hallway. Um, and it seems uh, okay. Maybe I should take a tour. But uh, I'll be doing another update soon with my fish tank, especially for those of you that want to know what the hell is going on with my fish tank. Um, I'll do that. I uh, also had this recent event with a dog that I'll tell you about. Um, it was all right. And uh, yes, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, keep those cards and letters coming. You know, that's another thing. <laughs> People have been contacting me a lot who are having this surgery or going through it. And it is interesting how a lot of people that contact me and say, you know, I'm having this surgery soon. Any advice? Uh, I'm having this surgery soon. My husband's having it. My girlfriend's having it. My boyfriend's having it. My sister, my brother. Someone's having this surgery soon. I'll often open a dialogue and, you know, cheer them on, let them know everything's okay. Uh, as if I'm an expert. I've gone in twice. Um, but it's interesting to find out that they are, are oftentimes not having the surgery that I'm having. They're having something similar or partial, but they're not having the full-blown aorta bifemoral bypass, you know, pulling the guts out, putting the hole. They're just having like a little patchwork done. Not the same thing. But uh, some have and uh, seem to be coming through it okay. Uh, there you go. And if, if I'm a testament to this at all, um, as you can see, you can come out kind of okay a little bit. Um, and uh, there you go.